Wow, this is just insane. The envoy to the UN, Israel, is claiming that Hamas is hiding in Harvard, Columbia, and other universities in the United States. What, does this mean that the Israeli government is going to start uh, blowing up these universities to root out Hamas in the United States? Uh, it's just hilarious the lies the Israeli government claims in order to either discredit people speaking out against them or to make uh, people speaking out against them look like they're the bad guys. Yeah, uh, it's obviously a lie claiming that Hamas is hiding in Harvard, Columbia, and other universities in the United States. Here in 1947, they want to erase Israel. The chance of the pro-Palestinian rioters on campuses are cause for Israel's destruction. We always knew that Hamas hides in schools. We just didn't realize that it's not only schools in Gaza, it's also Harvard, Columbia, and many elite universities. This is what we hear at academic institutions across the world, and they directly represent the Palestinians' goal. So now if you protest in support of Palestinians and against the Israeli government, you're automatically Hamas and you're hiding in universities. That is really insane to believe, especially since there's a lot of Jewish students uh, protesting against the Israeli government. I guess what, they now became Hamas because they don't support Israel? The only solution for them is a single Palestinian state that is Judenrein, Jew-free, from the river to the sea, achieved through repeated October 7th against Israel and also against Jews. That's not even what it means. They're saying that uh, they will have freedom just like any other person. They're not for the genocide of Jewish people are repeated October 7th, even though uh, the United States just committed that the Israeli government has been kidding, uh, committing uh, human rights abuses in the West Bank and stuff uh, long before October 7th happened. Uh, the Israeli government never says anything about their own crimes. And you here are collaborating with them and encouraging their racism and anti-Semitism. Just as Germany was the world... It's not anti-Semitic to speak out against a government committing crimes. That would be like claiming that uh, people are not racist against Russia or speaking out against what the Russian government is doing. Capital of science and, and culture. Yet it was there that Nazism was born and spread. History is now repeating itself. Elite universities supposed bastions of liberalism and academia have now become the breeding grounds for the most heinous racism and bigotry those that care okay what about the <clears throat> bigotry by the israeli government against palestinians calling them animals uh calling every single palestinian a terrorist i've openly advocating for the genocide of palestinians uh, what about that bigotry? The Israeli government doesn't want to talk about their own racism. Carry on the Nazis' race theory today are restoring to violence, shattering windows, attacking Jewish students, and calling for their removal from campus. Yeah, and Jewish students protesting in support of Palestinians and against the Israeli government are being attacked by cops. They're being removed from campus. They're being targeted. Why don't you speak about that? The images that have come out of Columbia University are reminiscent of Kristallnacht. Just yesterday, over 100 violent...